Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this, se this session resumes, uh, takes up resumes from our previous session, and you can download the complete source code at my website here, and you can download the complete source code. If you want to follow with me, and you can download my previous session's source code. Okay. And at the end of this session, you will create something like this. Say, in we, we put expressions like this then we can put more expressions then we click compute then result is displayed here at this column and we create more pages like this Then if we click compute, then results are displayed here. If it has debug, for example, if it has bugs in our code, for example, like this, if we compute, and we, it will give us an error message at row 1. This is row 0 at row 1, syntax error, blah, blah, blah. And if we fix it, then run again, then result is displayed. At the, at, at the end of this session, we will build application like this. Okay, let's get started. From my previous session, I copy solution and I rename it to like this. Then I will open solutions from here, from my previous session. I will start another in instance of Visual Studio. Then I, I open my previous project. Here, I open I opened my previous, previous solutions. This, it might be a little bit complex Right, right click here and make it start the project. It might be a little bit complex for those who do not have experience with the MFC, but I will try to make it as simple as possible and you can follow with me. For details, I may, I may took time for to make a series of videos about MFC and .NET framework inter, interoperation. I mean, inter... How can I say? How to use MFC with .NET frameworks? Something like that. I would, I would, I would maybe, I would make a complete series of videos about that. But in this session, we will concentrate on Python and Plex, Python and Plex and Data Grid View. Okay, from class view, we will we will compile and run it. This is the last session. The, the code from our last session. Okay. Okay, it's compiled. This is the last state of our session. We will build on this project. To begin with, let's see. We will create. We will copy. We will copy our uh, source code from our previous previous sessions. Right click here, add new new filter here. Python, Plex files, and another filter. Right click, add new filter, generated file. files and in generated file right click once again new filter it will be source files and once again generated files add new filter header files now we will copy copy code from here and windows 
in the file explorer from here we will copy uh, lexer parser and parser lexer trees we copy four files right click copy here we will add paste these files are copied to our project data grid app view here generate python files right click add existing we are currently adding python flux files so lexer and parser then in in source code here in source code here right click add existing we'll add a parser tree parser tree cpp and new file is added and in the header file here not python header file here right click add existing parser parser head this file Okay, we added the part. We we got them from our previous, uh, our another project. Save them all and save. Click close all. We will now remove this project. We don't need it any longer in our project. Right click it, remove. Click OK. Then it will it will be gone from project folder again here our solution folder because we removed it we no longer needed it okay now uh, we we need to make settings again once again properties and here and let's see custom build tool and apply we are uh, setting lexer general settings here uh, flux if you are using win if you are using win flux window flux uh, window ported flux win flux two dash win compact win compact then percent identity like this you have to set like this and you are changing this message generating uh, lexical lexical uh, scanner like this and output will be percent file name cpp semicolon file name dot h and copy these make sure you select all platform all combination of platform copy these apply then select parser then select custom build tool again apply then here general output paste and here generating a syntax parser and command line win bison percent uh, identity identity like this save it apply okay now we compile them like this open compile okay compiled successfully right click compile okay compiled so now select source right click add existing we need to add uh, lexa cpp and parser cpp click, click to and these are added right click properties you should not forget this part c++ pre the header you should select not using you should not forget this step apply then click this one and select select not using you should also select all platforms all configurations and we can compile it let's compile it compile okay it's compiling compile it okay 
Then if you are using uh, Bison and Plex included in MCs or GNU, then you, you have to remove like this. If you are using uh, Plex and Bison included in GNU, GNU, Plex and Bison, like MCs2 or Sigwin, uh, you have to change like this. Don't forget this. And I will try it also. Apply also apply you all you need is to change just these settings these two click ok then i will try it compile okay it builds successfully compile it builds successfully okay compile it also builds successfully compile it also builds successfully in Lexa, I will remind you one thing. Say, in case, in case, uh, in case, uh, in case of GNU, GNU and Unix platform, GNU C++ does not support pragma, pragma warning. In this case, you can, if def, you can do like this. If defined, defined like msc build, you. I LD. Then you can say and if you can escape like uh, using pre predefined process. MSCC compiler defines this by default. For example, in if you are not sure, like a visual C plus plus predefined macro, then you can click this. You can double check. See. These are Microsoft specific predefined compiler, uh, predefined macros. So MFC build, MFC build is no, no, no. MSC, MSC, MSC build. Here it is. MFC, M. Sorry. Let me check my other files. Uh, some of these macros are Microsoft Visual C. Visual C. If you are not sure, you can define this too. These are defined when when we compile with using Visual C plus plus. Sorry, this could be like uh, like this, okay? Or I will check it. I will double check it here. Sorry, it is Korean website. Here, and you can see in in English. So Visual C Visual compiler Visual com, Visual C plus compiler usually defines these macros, macros. So you can check it. So it's okay. Also, if you have problems with your compiler. For compatibility, for example, you can define like this. If defined MSC build like this, and if and let's build it again. We not just we will build it just two two. Okay. Then okay, it builds. It's just for your 
information but if you since because we are building Windows platform building using Microsoft C++ there is no point for compatibility with the Unix platform tools okay let's 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 go let's keep going and we will we will add one more files in the our previous session we added this class this this file and now we will add one more one or two more here right click header section add new new item header file header file will be msc definitions definitions dot h okay click it and here we will define one macro define wm msz then parser then wm user plus 1000 like this we will add it and the others we don't need i think i will, we, I will use it later i will remind i will remind it to you again when we need it and now we will make some resource changes here resource changes from resource view if your resource view is i will close it sorry sorry in resource i will close it proper hide it from resource view click resource we will add some menus right click here Go to command. We are adding here command some command here clear uh, debug enter and here one more clear percent build enter and here again I will add some prompt message here clear uh, debug. debug window like this and here clear uh, build window save it save them and we close them all close all close all window and we also close it save it once again in ribbon double click it here We drag buttons, button, and select this here, properties, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, no, 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 scroll up, id command, this will be debug, okay, debug, then say clr clear debug, like this, save it, then once again, button we will name it we will select id clear build clear build okay then save it then rename clr build like this click it then we will we will you we will make new two commands here I will I will come back again after making some changes. Now click class view and click output output list here. Right click and add function here. Output will be void. Function name will be clear output like this. Finish. Here we are we are adding code while uh, this delete string index 0 not lv error like this this clears all output window I will tell you what output window is in, in a minute later then then here click wind and right click add 
I will, I will, before we do that, I will add one more here, here, right click, click clear, here, output list, click clear, and we are going to delete this, this, clear, output, like this, okay, then let's r now run it, Now right click, clear, it clears, right click, clear, clears, right click, clear, clears. And what it does is actually when we right click and clear message, this function is called. And now we go to win menu here. Uh, we will add three functions, right click and add a function here, void, void, and the void here, C clear, uh, we will start with clear, debug, de debug, window, window, like this, clear debug window, finish, here, this, uh, m, wind, debug, here clear no clear output okay like this and we will add one more this is debug window I will try it first let's try it first this command go to class again here no in resource view we'll start ribbon again clear debug, right click, add event handler, select main, main frame, and rename it to clear debug like this, add event handler here, this, and mint output here, dot clear debug window, okay, we'll test it, Compile and run. Okay, in debug window, we click debug. It's di disappeared, and we have to. We have not added the event handler for this. I will add it now here again. Ribbon view, ribbon, ribbon again. Click this, right click, add event handler. We have to select main frame, main frame here change it to build like this, add event handler, heal the same way, this, and mint, output, clear, uh, we haven't made yet, build, window, we haven't made it yet, we will make it soon, save it, clear build window, say, in class view, here, add function, return value void, clear, build, window, window, finish, here, we are adding this, and wind, uh, build window, clear, off, okay? Now save it. Okay. Now we don't need it any longer. Now run. We are preparing to to go. Okay. We are preparing Python and Flux. Please please be patient. So we can we can click build. Go on. Debug. Shit, this one. We have to click this one. Gone. Okay. Say close. Then we will close all. Now we will add. 
we will add one message definition we added the message definition here we will use it in a minute later okay from class view here again here from command we are going to make changes here when we when we start our program we will delete output window okay to do that we can send command message afx get main wind this gives us a main frame window in case of c main frame window it gives us then uh, post window message wn command then it will be id command commands debug it calls this message okay then save it what it does is we call this we call this function we call this is window first message from here we are calling this function okay so if we see this web id it is connected to this function so let's see if you can see it if we post message command message id command build this fu uh, this function will be called so it has the same e effect as cleaning the out debug window let's compile and run it okay so debug if we compute then it is cleared okay so the next thing is we are going to get uh, uh, data grid view control CLR data grid data grid I think I haven't defined this this we have to add okay here we have to include since we defined we defined here alias we will use these alias we will use this so we have to include here here we will include I include alias okay then in class view again here again no, no. this view here again CLR data grid view and this should be handle h data grid i'm making a class like this this we defined in previous session m control spreadsheet we we defined this uh this variables in our previous session then dot get control then here get database view control we define these functions in our previous sessions this function comes from here and let me see here it comes from here we are getting actually here we see get data grid view control this comes from here this function okay then the next thing is uh, we need to know row count low count of h data data grid view then low count count like this save it then we are making some c strings c strings c string we'll use it later src text std w string uh, src w str we need to include of course cgh here instead of we are adding here we will add here it will be more efficient actually here we will add and uh, include uh, string this is c++ string and we can also include here uh, IO stream maybe and also here 
vector and once more put here s ss stream okay save them then come back here uh, here and here comes comes back here again here then the next thing is the CLR string. This should be like this handle, and it will be HSRC text, and it shall be null PTR at the beginning. Then CLR data grid view uh, collection. We don't have a collection yet. Data grid view it should be low collection and we will add low collection here we do not have low collection yet then we can add like this if you don't know the syntax don't worry we can always use you uh, can always use in our file here oh okay I, we will start here uh, Win form, win forms, data, grid, view, uh, low, 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 row, collection. You see, collections. We will use these. He will. We are going to use these. So we are adding here. Type df. We, I will name it like this. CR. And we will add one more. One more here. Here. Data. Grid. View. Cell. Okay. We are also going to need this type df CLR. Okay. Here comes back again. Here now we can say CLR data grid view row collection it should be h lows and h data grid view lows we are acquiring lows from our spreadsheet data view handler we are getting low count lows from this class from here from from this one from this one then we need to loop for int r zero. This means low count low for low count plus plus r. Then if h low means low index per jet low uh, is is new law this is property actually so if this is new law current law is new law then we have to break we have no more to process otherwise we can keep going clr uh, data grid view cell we are getting cell h uh, ex expression cell we are getting expression cell then h lows R and cells cells is the C L and column E X P L E ex expression column expression we are getting uh okay I will explain it column expression means this 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 returns collections data grid low collections and in the low collections this is low collection R's low 
are Cheros law, or once one first law, second law, and the cells collections gives. Then we select a specific cell, expression cell. It means we are selecting. Let's see, header file. We are selecting this cell. This is the first color expression cell. Say so to see the color names. We name expression cells column name is CLM expression. This this CLM remember CLM expressions, okay? Then this CLM expression means the first first cell first loss first cell. I hope you understand about this. Then we have to check the value of the cell if H uh, expression ex expression cell value is not null. If it is null, then we cannot process. Okay, it should be valid. And here, I will clean it a little bit here. Yeah. And we have to we are, we get source text source text h expression cell since its value is valid we can say value is valid no to string to string we convert the contents to string then. We want to check the length of the text. H S R C text length length and greater than one means two or more, right? Then S S R C text the first character. This is the first character is should be equal symbol. Then we are doing calculation. It should be H. Then we are doing calculations here. Okay, save it. Okay, then SRC text. This is SRC text is C string. Then we we change is uh, CLR .NET frame string this is .NET frame string uh, to C string this is .NET frame string we have to change C string the H S R C text okay then S R C text we append append null character one more null character the last character should be null. We uh, no no semicolon, semicolon. I will talk about it. I will talk about it. Sorry, it should be append character, append character like this. So I will. Okay, let's just stop it, and we are going to lex and the parser. We are going next uh, and the parser, not here. Uh, we are going to change it. We are going to change it significantly. Okay. And from my, from my, from my solution, from my previous code, not previous code, long, long ago, I developed a language called yet another language, another language and I will copy from this solution uh, a file called Lexer. I made it long ago. I will copy it copy and rename it Rename it, copy, and I will paste in our project. This is current, current our project. Paste it, 
and I will add it here add existing this one okay I will open it this is the project I created long ago and I classified all Unicode Unicode scanning for Flex and Bison and you can left refer uh, details about each things and I will copy and paste from this copy and paste the code from this and I will pre I will copy and paste my code I prepared in advance just a second from here I will delete from here I am going I'm not going to use it use them okay I deleted from this line save it and here I will explain a few first for example 0 0 means we are scanning two bytes not just one byte this is the first byte the second byte is 0 right to 0 we can define like this this is two bytes we always scan two bytes because we, it is unicode right we, we have 16 we always scan two bytes for example digits DIG digit it is also two byte from nine zero and the second byte is zero. This is um, this is for little endian system. Little endian means two bytes are used uh, in case of word ordering word ordering uh, okay let's check little endian little endian See, you can you can refer to this document about little Indian or big Indian something like that say little in case of little Indian uh, anti-16 Okay, more about this, please refer to this text, little endian, big endian, something like that. Anyway, so the first character in Intel CPU, the first character is like zero, and something, this, the second byte is always zero in Unicode, in, in case of little endian system. So you have to define all characters like, like this. And I will copy and paste the code from code I prepared in advance and I will copy them all okay please refer to this document please refer to this document and I will copy them all so I will not talk much about these things and for the time being what we need is this we are defining uh, operators here it is two byte please note that this is two byte but what we need is one byte when it's sent we just send one byte here and this process process in uh, re integer and real number the, about the real is defined like this plot real plot blah 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 something like this i defined them long ago and but i will take time in some other sessions about regular expressions for unicode i took considerable amount of time to classify these correctly and for other languages uh, other human languages like uh, Greek Kirill or oh, this is for Latin alphabets and all other details co Korean or something you can find all human languages I classified long ago so just copy and paste for the time being okay say save it and we compile it Lexer compile it's success compiled but it means the default warning is not 
blah 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 we don't need it for the time being we will remove one option we will remove this option for the disable this option time being to make it quiet compile it again okay it builds it successfully and another thing is in the parser we don't need to make settings here it will not be compiled each this file is just for your reference and in this file in Python uh, uh, parser grammar file we will make some we will make uh, quite a lot of changes in here to make a simple calculator for our use and from here I will start here start let me see let me see I will change it to double DBL like this DBLE and save it then we don't need this we will remove it and also it will be DBL DBLE and I will make it to I will make it to uh, this double dvle and I can change it to double two then expl should be double two there are some easier way but I am doing this because I will be using this kind of expression in in our future sessions and I will disable it for the time being in this session also this session we will not use it save it then here we are going to change complete expressions I can detail it but it is too time consuming and boring to me so I will just copy and paste and I will delete them to, to here I replaced paste it and here I will make some changes like uh, I will change it like this I will talk about this function more like this okay save it then we need to define this function. This function comes from a parser tree. You have to watch my this class. This class. This class is defined from here. Let me see. Here we are going to add put this function. Put error message. We are going to put function here. Click it and include string. Okay. I will make a one defined type df let me check my other code just a second mm. yes. okay type df std vector std it will be w string and w str vctr t we need W string, wide character string, vector T, okay? Then here, uh, protected, I can get protected. Then W, STR, V, C, T, R, T. It will be, uh, I will make it to message vector, M, uh, MSC, V, C, T, R. It is, it will hold the our vector strings then I will create one more double M result like this I will make it uppercase it doesn't matter I will make it lowercase then then we have to make we have to add this function we have to add this function this is character string so pass here put Void put msg as the name error message. I will copy it here. Here, constant character string msg like 
this and copy it here I will put it here I hope you follow with me and at this point it's a little bit a bit more complicated let me check my code and put message uh, okay here std all string string stream os os at low I need one member variables here. It will be int m cell index. I will call it like this. It will save it. Then comes it here again. Then I will put error messages. MSD. Then this M. We are putting here in place back OS STR string. Okay. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Why? Why it doesn't work? It requires this is. This string, this is wide character string, wide character string, wide character string vector, and this is this is character string. So we have to convert character string to wide character string. We have to convert this is for character string. We have to convert it wide character string. To do that, oh, I'm sorry, I have to copy another code. Let me see. I will make a function I will make a here I will make another source code here right click add new item name it conversion conversion dot cpp here include std afx std afx dot h then here we are going to copy some code. This this converts 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 ASCII uh, uh, multi byte character multi byte byte character to Unicode or wide character string. Wide character string. There is some easier way actually in in standard <coughs> in standard C plus C, uh, C language it would be like a M multi byte M B C two W C how can I say multi byte to we can multi multibyte multi bytes to wide here multi bytes bytes to wide character you can look for something like this multi byte and wide character okay okay here see this is com uh, there's this one mbcs to wcs MVC WCS, this one, like for example, see, multi byte to wide character string. This probably the function, okay? Here, multi byte wide character S, multi byte wide character S. You can use this. Like these, these are actually standard C library for from multi byte to wide character string conversion. 
Okay, I, I will not talk more about this. So, but uh, I'm using some other function window spe specific multiply to wide carried conversion string. And using this code, this code, and I made two simple char simple string conversion conversion functions here. Let's try. I copy and paste here. I actually created this code by myself, so I will not, however, I will not explain much. And you can please refer to this message, but, or you can just copy. This is not optimized, okay? Okay. This code is not optimized. I just winged it. Okay. So, Maybe in future you may need to more optimization about these routines. So I will just save it. I will use them. Among them, I will use this one, like for example. Then here again, we have to convert it. But this function, we have to convert it like uh, like this from our. Let me see. We have to convert. Uh, character, character to W string. Okay, I am using this function right now. This function character to W string, and it should be, it should get string C string, C string. Okay. But it causes a problem because it requires it requires character string like this. I have to convert it to I have to remove constant needs from here. I can do that. Oh, I will I will add one more header file here. Let's see from header file. Right click, add new header file. I will name it conversion conversion dot h and here I will simply copy and paste and here I will copy and paste like this one more one more let me see I'm copying in the one section here. Mm -hmm. If it complains, you may have to add it like this. AFX win. Okay. Then in the then it, it should go. Okay. Then we need include uh string. Okay, then it should go. It should be okay. Then save it. Then we can compile it. We compile this part only. Okay, then we compile it too. Go home. We have to add here. Include conversion. Conversion H this part then here 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 let's see it's pretty pretty here again you have to see it's done let's compile it okay it's done it's gone then we have added and we are now coming back here and we will compile it let's see i will compile this first compile and compile what's the problems syntax error while back while back while hundred Y hundred here. What's 
caused the problem. Index unexpected left. Why unexpected left? What have I made a mistake? Here. Oh, I made a type here. I have to make this like this. Then compile. Then nerd. nerd. Have I made some mistake? Let me check my code. Oh, I have to put it. I have put wrong place. I have to, I have put I put it wrong place. Control X destructor here. I have to put it here. This is definition section, and these are repeated. <coughs> Like this. Sorry. This is the correct. Now compile it. Okay. Now build it. And let's see. And C plus three. Put result. Okay. Put result. This is we have to make this function. Okay. We will make it. Here, come. Let's come here again. Uh, double click. Here, it should be void. Void. Put result. It should be double. Double. Uh, let me check. Put result. Double alert. I will say alert. Alert means result. In my case, I use it quite a lot. And this function is very simple. Just uh, put result like this, and uh, it will simply save the result. This m result. I will. We will just uh, simply save it like this. Save it. Then let's see. I I just made it. I made the put error message before, and here, mm. we I made implemented it. Oh, let's compare and see what happens. Compiled and compile. Mm. Put error message cannot convert character one from wide character to character string. Mm. This is wide character method. Uh, let me check wide character string. Mm. Okay. I can make the same one. Like put character. This is character string. I will put another one. Y the character T and this should be simple. Very easy. Close put messages. I will simply copy it. Copy. But this time this is Y the character T and we don't need these. We don't need these. Here and MSC. This is good enough because this is wide character. Then let's compile once again. We'll compile. Compile. Okay, now we built and we need to build another one here. Let me see. Mm, learn parser, learn hello day. I will make calculate. Mm. 
Okay, say class pass here. We are going to add one more function. This will be it will be memory. <coughs> it will be like this. Int calculate cell like this. This will be int index cell index and constant std and w string then code like this we will copy it then we'll copy it here here save it then we will do try and catch like this here. We first need to set this and cell index uh, index we save the cell index then yy scan t as usual we ha we learned it in previous session then yy lux uh, init extra uh, this scan scanner we learned about this in our previous sessions then size t size code code means this string code size then we allocate buffer and wide character w character t buffer uh, buffer size should be buffer size should be one byte longer allocate uh, one more character for uh, one more character means two more bytes for for the character one more for example then then copy Uh, here WCS CPY we are using this for person this is the first one is character buffer destination buffer view FF here then the size the size count of character size plus one then code C str we convert to c string okay then here uh, why why scan pop we learned it in our previous sessions character and view FFVR and the size this is byte size plus one times two and scanner like this two actually means two actually means size of double character T okay then int rlt yy pass scanner then this we learned about this in previous sessions then yy lex destroy scanner we destroy scanner then we delete dlt delete buffer we delete buffer then uh, then we return result alert uh, return value of yy pass okay 
So if we fail, return minus one. Okay. Let's say say minus one signi files failure. Failure. Okay. Save it. Then we compile. We build it once again. Compile. Okay. Now we go back to class. We will close all. Close all. Now we go back to view. Command. Command. Compute commands here again. We are keep going from here. Mm. It might be. It looks quite quite challenging, isn't it? Yes, it is. For for the first time you do it, it can be quite a lot challenging actually. Uh, let's see. Command compute here. Let me see. Okay, here. Mm. Okay, we are creating your parser. We appended this character. Now, C pass tree. Of course, of course, we have to include include pass three h. We also need to include one more. Include conversion, conversion, conversion h. Yes. Save it. Then we can go back again. Sorry, here. Yeah, pass three pointer p pass three then we are create dy dynamically allocating here c new c pass three okay then int lt we are calling p pass three calculate we should send the index index is low index it is currently r and the string we are going to trans we are going to pass is std w string string here st src text get string Okay, give the C string, converts the C D string. Okay. This at this point. If successful it returns if successful why I pass return zero alert. Okay. Why I pass return zero if S U C C E S S is successful. Otherwise, otherwise, none zero. So it means successful, okay? It means RLT is not zero. It means RLT is, is not zero, okay? It can be clear in some case. Here, and we are going to STD, O string stream. Then I will create OS one OS return P pass three get result get result no I'll E S U L T I will create this one no not put result get result I will make a string here let me see save it here Double click it, get result. INT, get result. Okay. Return this M, M, result. Like this. And it can
can be constant actually. Then come back here, get result. Get result. Oh, I is result. Okay. Then okay. And we have to convert it into it to CLR string. CLR string h result uh, gc new gc new clr string here os str then CSTR. okay okay we convert it then h loads r cells then the CLM column result. We are selecting it. Then value will be H result. Okay, we set. Then here else. Else. We clear it. We clear it. Nothing. Okay. Here. Will be. GC new CLR string just empty string okay then after this we inform to our main function to update here AFX get main win we are posting message post message WM MSC okay we need this well is it it is defined we defined these variables from here message definitions so we have to include it control here include MSC definitions okay then go back Go back to, to go back here. Yeah. P A R parser. And we are sending double P A R A M. Yeah. We are sending uh we are sending this object. This object. We are sending this object. Sorry. P Pass three, and the last item will be null. We don't need it, I guess. So that's it. So we have to make this function. It's easy to make. Okay, just save it. Let me check. Okay, let's clear it. Save it. Uh, go to main. Main, main main frame here double click it scroll down mm, we are going to add a function here this should be okay I will copy it this is message handler the syntax should be something like this the function syntax is like this or message parser I will create this function and here and okay I have to demo this okay here and return to here we are filling Say we will receive this as pass three, so C pass three P pass three C P 
PAR pass 3 pointer W P A R A M. Right? This point. See, we have to include one more here. We forgot it. I see include pass 3. And we also need to include a message definitions. Okay. Then we are coming here again. Okay. Then W uh, STR VCTR Hey W STR VCTR We get vector MV message vector And P Pass 3 Here Get uh, We need to Define one more function here Come back here Get messages Okay uh, w S T R vector. It can be like this because we don't need to create multiples. Yeah. Get messages and constant return this and like this. Okay, save it. Then here again, we can now define it. Get messages. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to pull, pull loop, uh, constant auto. We are going to reference, and this is message in MV vector. And actually, we don't need it this and wind output uh, add uh, here we need to define one more function I will, we will come back here here let's see Clear output wind here and right click this is C string, C string, C string. This is C string, okay. Add a function, okay. Void. Add to add a string, string to deb alpha debug window, debug window. And the parameter will be constant. Sorry, the parameter will be std w string. Uh, I will use a c string, c string, c string. Constant c string. Here and msg, ms, msg, msg like this. Finish. Okay. Then this M wind output debug add a string. Then MSC. Okay. We are adding to debug window. So here you can see this. M wind alpha add string to debug window like this and this is C string so C string uh, M C ST STR okay wow then it's okay it's done then we have to delete this, okay? We have to delete this. Delete uh, P pass 3. We have to delete this. Save it. And I think I, I have done most, mostly done. Okay. Let's try it. 
F5. Now C. Oh, hey. Data is not a member of the system. Oh, save it. Explorer here. We need to add some reference. Right click, add a reference. Uh, framework. S uh, system data. Actually, we, we don't need it right now, but I will add it. Then system windows form. Windows, Windows form, mm, system drawing can also be useful. System drawing like this. Okay. Now run it again. Control F five. Check one in. Here it is. Here it's coming from. Oh, I made a mistake here. You barely. Why I have defined this here? Okay, let's compile it. Let's run it again. for some expressions. Okay. Compute. Something doesn't work. Okay. Let's check what's the problem. See? Compute. Okay, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. Here? Mm. I will check one by one. On command compute. Let me check. I think we missed something. Mm. It's hard to trace. Sorry, I have to fix this. This is wrong. It should be fixed like this. Now save and run. for some expressions like uh, okay now let's run 3 plus 5 8 7 such is 28 and I will make some error here like this it will give us a syntax error. Let's see. What's the problem? I will delete it. Let's 
شوانيت نستات بيدو like this it works now give some syntax error probably the error message is not displayed let's fix it oh sorry I, I forgot to add a command handler command handler for example here uh, in main in main function we we are the this this message we have to add message handler for this uh, how can I do that we can do here main here on WM on WM on WM M E S S A G E on WM message like this let, let me check my code let me see this should be on on message so sorry on message it should be WM MSG parser C main frame on msd parser we have to add this save it now compile and run A syntax error like this here debug compute see row one syntax error unexpected like this okay this comes from okay we will fix this then like seven enter compute it's gone it's fixed okay and we will add one more like a uh, Five times two plus four compute. Uh, we have to enter then compute like this. Okay. Then if we make error like this, compute this message. This is annoying. I will remove this. Okay. In parser here and error this this gives the unwanted error message then we avoid like this save it then run control F5 Syntax error. This I I don't think it will give syntax error. Oh, it gives syntax error. Then five. It will not give us syntax error. Okay, just like four. So this concludes our session. We created a Excel spreadsheet like software. We can compute more like. A more expressions, more complex ones, for example, like this. Ten five nine this is nine. So I hope you enjoyed. This concludes my uh, video series for uh, Excel like spreadsheet sheet like uh, software development from uh, in our in our next sessions in in upcoming sessions i will concentrate on
Python and the Flux alone. And we will create a complete, not complete actually, but uh, same, we will create scripting language that support the functions. It's very challenging, in fact. I hope you enjoyed. I will put my code to my website. I will put my all sample code. Actually, I posted it, but here, talk play pun. I will put the source code here. You can download. And I will put source code here. And I will put two. This is the previous one. I, I did it before shooting this video. And this is the new one after I shoot video. They are actually the same, but a little bit can be different. I will put my code here. Or you can download this code. This is actually the same working one. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comment.